Hello kids welcome to the maths class Today's topic is area and perimeter Today we are going to learn how to find area of a square So the main objective of today's learning is to understand how to find out area of a square But let us first understand what is area and perimeter Area the space occupied by a closed figure perimeter the boundary of a closed figure why do we need area can you see the rectangular ground in the picture suppose we have to lay grass on the ground so first of all for that we must know how much space is occupied by the ground hence we need area to measure the space occupied by the closed figure why do we need perimeter now suppose we have to put a fence around this rectangular ground for that first of all we must know the measurement of the boundary of the ground hence we need perimeter to measure the boundary of the closed figure Now let us discuss some questions so that this concept is clear to you. What do we need area or perimeter to lay carpet on the floor of a house? Yes, we must know the area of the floor of the house. What do we need area or perimeter to fence a cricket ground? Yes, we need perimeter of the ground what do we need area or perimeter to fill water into the pool we need area of the space occupied by the pool now let us discuss the unit that we are going to use while doing the sums unit of area is meter square or centimeter square unit of perimeter is meter or centimeter now let us discuss the formula to find out area and perimeter to find out the area of a square we will use the formula side multiplied by side and to find out the perimeter of a square we will use the formula 4 multiplied by side But today we are only going to discuss how to find out area of a square. So we will use this formula. Area of a square is side multiplied by side. Before starting with the sum, we must remember that all sides of a square are equal. Let us take the first example. Find the area of a square if side is equal to 7 cm since we know all sides of a square are equal that means if one side is 7 cm the other three sides will be 7 cm as well so to find out the area of a square we will apply this formula that is side multiply by side since we are finding out the area of a square we will write in a square then we will write the side that is 7 cm and applying the formula that is side multiply by side we will do the sum so what is the side given to us 7 cm so in the place of side we will write 7 cm multiply by 7 cm 7 7 are 49 so our answer is 49 cm square let us take the next example find the area of a square if side is equal to 5 cm since we know all sides of a square are equal that means if one side is 5 cm all the three sides will be 5 cm as well to find out the area of a square we will apply the formula 
side multiply by side. Since we are finding out the area of a square, we will write in a square. Then we will write the side that is given to us that is 5 cm. Now which is the formula that we will apply? Side multiply by side. So how much is the side given to us? 5 cm. So under side we will write on 5 cm. 5 cm multiply by 5 cm is how much? 5 fives are 25. So our answer is 25 cm square. Now let us solve some more examples. Find the area of square if side is equal to 9 cm. Now side is given to us that is 9 cm and we have to find the area of the square. Now first of all let us write in a square comma leave one line what we have to find out the area and what is given to us side. So we will write over here side is equal to 9 centimeter. Since we have to find out the area and we don't know the area yet. So we will write area and put a question mark. Now what is the formula to find out the area of square? That is side multiplied by side. So we will write over here side multiply by side. You see that we are putting all the equal to signs in the same line. Now next under side what is the side given to us that is 9 cm. Let us write 9 cm under multiplication sign again multiplication sign then again under side we will write 9 cm. Now we should know our tables well 9 nines are 9 nines are 81. So we will write over here 81 centimeter. Now what is the unit of area? That is centimeter square. We have to write square when we are finding out the area. Now let us see the next sum. Again find the area of square if side is equal to 11 cm. How much is the side given to us? 11 cm. What we have to find out? Area. So let us write in a square comma side is equal to how much? 11 cm. What we have to find out? Area. So we will put a question mark over here since we don't know the area yet. Now what is the formula to find out the area of a square? Side multiply by side. So let us write side multiply by side. Now how much is the side given to us? 11 cm. Let us write 11 cm multiplied by 11 cm. Now again you should know the table of 11 well. 11 11s are 121. 121 cm square. Let's recall what we have learnt today. We have learnt that area is the space occupied by a closed figure and perimeter is the boundary of a closed figure. The unit of area is meter square or centimeter square. The formula to find out the area of a square is side multiply by side. So, in this way, applying the formula, we have to solve the sum and find out the area of a square. We must remember that 
the unit of area is meter square or centimeter square. I hope kids you have understood how to find out area of a square. Next class we will learn how to find out the perimeter of a square. Till then do the homework that has been given to you in your snap homework. Thank you.